Hi, Box Anglers. It's uh, Rick Tyler down at the lovely fishery called Packingdon Summers today. We brought the electric barrow down to do some field testing just to find out what it's capable of and just to talk through some of the enhancements we made since last year and um, basically some tips just to get the most out of the tackle barrow. What I'm going to do now is just set the seat box up to fit the front end module. Diff, we recommend fitting the front end module now first as opposed to the rear module and that's mainly because it's slightly heavier and it's easier to do and I'm going to demonstrate it. So the first thing we recommend is tip the seat box up, don't worry about tackle falling out of place, there's no space above the up box drawers for tackle to fall out unlike maybe on some of your other modules so if you haven't got an up box and you see me tipping the box over you don't need to worry. So step one all we're going to do is slide in the powered module into sockets into the foot plate. At this point as well I can also extend the foot plate Now the foot bait can be locked in different positions. I've pulled it all the way out today. Fitting the wheels, you could have them fitted at before you even load it on, but you'll notice on the wheels there's an R on one side, that goes on the side furthest away from the motor, and a left closest to the motor. The differentials, one goes clock clockwise, the other's anti-clockwise. And the reason for that is when you go around a tight corner. The inside wheel has to go in the opposite direction. Right, that's the battery on. Right, so that's the front end fit ready. What we can do at this stage is actually load on our hold all, which we recommend putting forward to the wheels because you're trying to balance the wheel bearer at this point. Now everything I'm loading onto this barrel is what we've concluded on the ultimate fishing station. So XL side table, top kit roost, basically everything that you're going to need. Now you'll notice now, as I tip that up, it's now very convenient for me to fit the rear wheel kit. I'll turn it round. You can see now how that inside wheel's not moving. And that's the differentials allowing you to do that. So step one, drag the cable out, bring it up the side. Step two, now big difference this year is we've widened the gauge of the electric barrel both at the front and the rear for more stability and each side's got its own axle so you're only having to line up two spigots as opposed to four, a lot easier to do. Um, you'll notice one spigot's adjustable because every angle is going to have a different height between their height frame and foot plate depending on how tall they are. You can see how simple that is compared to last year's model. Right that's now fixed and all we're going to do now for extra strength is brace the two together. So that's the electric barra now fitted. Just got to put the rod bag on top. Just as I pull it down, you can see we're ready to go. So what we'll do now is we'll take it to some different parts of the fishery just to demonstrate what the system's actually capable of. Well, that's, uh, that's been quite a testing morning. We have pushed this barrow over some really difficult ground. 
um, sharp slopes for stability. Um, got some footage of the shock absorbers working and I'm over the moon with the performance and I think you will be too. Till the next video, tight lines.